I told Miranda she has until January 9th to figure it out, give me a five-year plan. I'm expected to have my whole life figured out in six months. She asked me one day, what's your five-year plan? Hopefully to be alive, I don't know. I gave Miranda an ultimatum because I want her to change and I want her to believe me that I'm gonna throw her out in hopes that something's gonna click in her mind. I don't think she's gonna throw me out. She's all talk and no game. Miranda knows that I don't mean anything I say. I cannot let Miranda live on the street. Miranda says her mother is a controlling nag, but Kathy says, look, she just says she has no choice because her 22-year-old daughter is living in her home with no driver's license and no job. Miranda's drinking is affecting her jobs. I lost the nursing assistant job because I was working first shift. I had been out partying and drinking a lot. She was released from that job because she was hungover and she couldn't make it to work. You forced me to work first shift when you know I'm a second and third shift person, but that worked out with your schedule. I suggested that Miranda work the first shift. I thought she would be more responsible. I remember telling her, this isn't going to work out. I think even if Miranda had an evening job, she would lose it. I know she would. After Miranda lost her job, she got another job as a lifeguard. I received a phone call from the people at the pool. They said, Miranda has been found asleep at her post. Can you come and get her? This is where I used to work. What happened was I was really tired. I had drank the night before. That's kind of a key factor in there. I was sitting on stand. I had my tube. I had these sunglasses on. I was like, man, I'm just gonna close my eyes for two minutes. It looked like I was awake, but I was asleep. Somebody told my boss, hey, I think that lifeguard's asleep, man. Yeah, I lost my job because I fell asleep on stand. The company that Miranda was lifeguarding for told her to never come back again. So now Miranda has two DUIs. She's been fired from two jobs. She's living at home with mom and dad. I am not currently working at the moment. No, I'm not. Well, maybe it's her attitude about life in general because I made a list of some of her excuses. She said, well, mom is a baby boomer and things were cheaper then. Houses were just handed to them. Career doesn't just happen overnight. No. You need three jobs or rich parents to pay college and live on your own. Paying off college debt to go back, you, you, you owe $1,000. Now, need a job to move out in a car. I can't drive, totaled my car. Need pay a lawyer for DWI, you know, can't do that. It's just easier for her than it is for you, she right? She blames everyone else. I don't think I blame everybody else for anything. I just think that... Well, you really think it was easier a generation ago? Things were cheaper, so houses were just handed to them. Um, I guess that was more like a figure of speech because the house that I lived in my whole life was like her uncles or great uncles or something. She's had it forever. It, and it, I'm still paying on And it was in her family. Like, for me, it's just the times have changed. Things are more expensive. Miranda, you don't It's hard. And you live at home and we have pay your electric, we give you food, I mean. But you're my parents, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't know you, I wasn't supposed to eat food at my house. I mean, Miranda's disrespectful at the house. She is destroyed. She pay, spray painted my roses. I'm just wondering if you're just being a victim. She spray painted your roses? Silver, and she wrote, I'm a on a rock. Well, because her, my, my dad, called me, he was drunk, she likes to say and her husband. He, he called me a bitch and a liar. So instead of and me- And you called him some names No, too. I didn't. 